What's up, everybody? Welcome to Real Labs. It is Monday. All right, we're in July 6th. I'm your host of Real Labs, Mr. James John. You're listening to 104.1. Now, I'm joined, as always, by a bunch of funny guys. I guess we're not in the cavalcade anymore. We left our horses at home. <laughs> I'm joined by Mr. Mike Hurley. What's up, Mike? Hey, man. Good to see you. <laughs> also got my partner in crime, Mr. Miguel Colon Jr. How you feel, Miguel? Good, man. We should just keep throwing things out. Like, we're a carousel of comedians. <laughs> there you go. We're a, city like bus. A, a new C word every week, man. bro. Yeah, uh. a city bus full of comics. <laughs> 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 we also got the godfather of Orlando comedy, Mr. Ken Miller's in the house. Ken, how do you feel, sir? Man, I'm good. Hurley Heat. Yep. Bruh, I well. went and got the um, Boutane. <laughs> so I the Boutane. And th- th- he sells me this. Oh, yeah, that's butane, but take He's, the cap off. Yeah, he said it's Does like... Does it have a metal tip or a plastic tip? Yeah, there you go. Plastic. Looks plastic, right? It's all about the tip. It's all about all right. the tip. Because yeah, like, it's the best one out there. It's like natural and pure. So when you light it, your cigar, you're not getting the chemicals. I said, dude, I'm smoking tobacco. Like, I'm getting the chemicals <laughs> regardless. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, they, they treat... They treat butane like vodka. They're like, this is the triple distilled stuff. You can't even find this, but in the old Soviet Union. <laughs> you know, the model girl brought this out to me with sparklers on the top of it. Yeah. <laughs> were you able? Yeah, P, that's hilarious. Were you, were you able to refill all your stuff? Oh, son. Well, I'm talking about when I hit the lighter, bro, the flame, like the, the flame, the flame got- called it the Kermit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You got to grab, did, were you up. able to adjust it to a more manageable height and everything? No, I like the flame high. Yeah, he told oh, you me like to hold, the, let the air out, the, yeah. let the air out. Then hold it upside then down so you can get, yeah, yeah. you hold it upside down. Yep. Yeah, put I the love how you say butane, man. You say, you say it like it's a, it's a clan with the RZA, the JZA, <laughs> inspect the deck, you I got can't say, the I can't say blue tane, bro. Butane, butane. <laughs> blue tane. No, blue. Blue tane, right? You. Blue tane. Like B-U-T-A-N-G. Tang. Like B-U-T-A-N-G. say the a n g tang. Say the word. Say the word. You. <laughs> you. Now put the b sound before it. Bu. Butane. Butane. <laughs> Man, you make it. You make it sound like pooty tang. Yeah. It's just like pooty yep. tang. How do you, what do you call a? What do you call a Buick Regal? A Buick. Okay. So hey. Butane. Yeah. <laughs> hey. There you go. There you go. Nah, That's easier. Know. Yeah. Buick's easy. Okay. All right. Well, I'm glad you got your. I'm glad you got your lighter game all back. Yeah, yeah man. man, it's back, bro. Butane forever. <laughs> no, I ain't got to make campfires. I ain't got to be like this to light a cigar now. <laughs> <laughs> Using your grill lighter to light eighty dollars right. cigars. <laughs> Yo, Crazy, son, man. I'm on the grill like that. Hey, do you remember when you used to use the stove top when somebody wanted to light a cigarette? Yeah. Yo, yo. Go wow. Now. Yeah. Wow. I can't smoke in the house. So if I lit a cigarette on my stove, I got to run outside right away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> like you left the front door open. God front bless. door wide open. Now, guys, to, you got to do a jailhouse today. Real quick, to- Ken. Oh, real quick, jailhouse, guys, take uh, two pieces of metal, stick them in each individual side of the outlet. Like if you got a paper clip, stick one through, then drop the third paper clip in between both of them, put a little bit of toilet tissue, and it'll light up, and then you can light your cigarette. You wasting your time with blue tank. You know, <laughs> like, yeah. blue tank. And then you no, then you can pay the five grand for the guy to come back in and rewire your house for you. <laughs> or, or, or you can for the funeral because Miguel got electrocuted to death. <laughs> to damn I'm trying cigarette. to show off to my friends. <laughs> I I thought you said Miguel died from smoking. In a way, he did. In a way, he did. <laughs> there you go. Yo, uh, Miguel trying to show son he done learn no odds yeah. and get killed. Yeah. Hey, sixty days in. Uh, that's my show, yo. Hey, it's yeah. okay. We we just wrote it off as COVID. It's so much easier nowadays. It's so much easier to be a coroner nowadays. Hey, this guy came COVID. in with a gunshot wound to the back of the head. Looks like COVID. Yo, the numbers are rising. The yeah, numbers he was are co- rising. He was coughing. You know? <laughs> <laughs> <It> was coughing. <laughs> <And> no, <laughs> there, was, there was definitely heat coming from his head. Yeah. <laughs> hey, the bullet's got a fever. Don't touch it. Let's get paid. <laughs> oh man, that is funny. Was he wearing a mask? Nope. No, nope. well, he did. The dude himself. that shot him was wearing a mask, though. <laughs> yeah, because that dude was socially conscious. <laughs> 
He was thinking about other um, people. He's like, I only want to kill one person, not everyone. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, I don't know if you guys realize it or not. I know we just celebrated a um, holiday, 4th of July, but today is a special holiday on the 6th, Monday, because it is National Fried Chicken Day. Yeah. You're welcome. Ooh. Yeah. Hell to, hell to the yeah, it's man. It's like real quick. The- is this the day that fried chicken was invented, or how? What's the no? It's the, the day deal? fried chicken got its freedom. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you see these free range chickens, these free range chickens wandering down south, trying to escape to the north, ruining our communities. <laughs> these chickens gonna come over on the Nina, the Santa Marina. Damn, you know they, the you know these chickens are gonna want to hang out with the white chickens. Yeah, you don't mix the bucket. Okay. <laughs> All no, drums no, are no. nothing. Yeah. yeah. The, chick, the so, chicken finally gets to move to the top of the bucket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't use your biscuit, leave her with a quickness. Okay. Right. Oh, There's a reason yeah. we ask you, do you want dark meat or white meat? Not both. We don't do that here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This oh, is Brown, Brown versus the Board of Kentucky Fried. You know. <laughs> hey, I will yeah. admit the dark I mean. meat is juicier, but the white meat gets a vote. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's the show, boys. <laughs> Dude, you know, real talk, bro. I don't think I've had it. fried chicken this whole quarantine. Because you're barbecuing, Cause had, you're smoking, man. Eaten, yeah, I haven't yeah. eaten out. I don't think I've had fried chicken this whole quarantine. Yeah. Next mm, summer, you'll be out really? there with a deep fryer. Next <laughs> yeah. I got the air, that's, that's I got the air fryer, and it's never the same. It's, it's like not, cool something. No. You're like, okay, cool, no mess. I like making French fries in it because there's no mess. But you can't make air fried fried chicken and be like, yeah, this, this is what I wanted. You know? have, you, have, you, have you guys ever, I dated this girl once, and she had like a brother-in-law or something. We went over for Thanksgiving, and they did that thing with a turkey where they did the beer can, but they also dropped. Fried into a Friday, into yeah, like Friday. a deep fried yeah. turkey. Yeah. Like they had a can out yeah. back and they put it on a yeah. clothesline yeah. or something. Never had deep fried yeah. turkey. Oh, it was delicious, man. I oh, never had it. I had never oh, had it up to that point. Best. I was it's skeptical. It was so good. It's the I've best. had so buffalo I've, I've turkey. Done without, I've done it without the beer can, though. I've never had the beer can in it. The beer can is supposed to make the juices from it. You crack the beer can open, and while it's frying, the beer can's steaming up inside it. Making the turkey yeah. super juicy, which I'll tell you this much. Mm. Everybody who's ever heard of this show knows I complain that turkey's just not juicy enough. But I did have James's turkey on Thanksgiving, mm. yeah. and hands down, one of the juiciest, juiciest turkeys I've ever had. It was delicious. Yeah. There's was delicious. there's something to that beer can chicken and turkey Thank stuff, because I, I think Jeffrey Dahmer will tell you, alcoholics were always more delicious. <laughs> 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 that shit's that deep fried. It was yeah. deep fried. Uh-uh. Oh, that fatty nah. liver? Like, I'll nah, be honest, like- man. If you bred a baby and deep fried it and stuffed it with blue cheese, I'd be like, this is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is a crime. <laughs> <laughs> Put a little more lemon juice. <laughs> Bruh, for uh, real talk, though, when, it come, when it comes to fried chicken, I know she's like super, super racist. Uh, but what's the, what's the lady you like, James? You do the joke Paula about the King. best fried chicken best recipe fried chicken. I've yeah. ever yes. done. Son, the yeah. secret her, her is- recipe is egg. And Texas Pete hot sauce and is hatred. the coat. Yeah. And yeah. hatred, right? <laughs> and hatred, yeah. <laughs> no, Dude, it's it's Texas, Texas Pete hot sauce. It's Texas Pete flour and a hard R. And that makes yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's not flour, it's flour. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm if I'm not mistaken, three things about Paula Dean this week. Uh, I think it was her birthday this past week. So one for Paula Dean. Mm-hmm. Two, uh, she's a diabetic. Who would have figured that? <laughs> I found that out this week. And three, my people, I mean, my I know she lost her TV shows and everything like that because of the, uh, she said the N-word like 30 yeah. years ago or something like that, uh, But and yeah. probably several times since, especially since losing uh-huh. her show. But I will <laughs> yeah. tell you this, yeah. I, I think I saw she started something where she's doing her own like streaming and podcasting or some kind of YouTube video. And that's when I realized, I'm like, man. You can get blackballed or blacklisted from Hollywood nowadays, but that doesn't mean nothing anymore because you can just go over YouTube and you're going to have your fans who filed you over there and are like, yeah, we're going to let that slide. I love you. you. Yeah. What what was your joke, James? Uh, It was even like, uh, it was even like, look, (laughs) okay. Uh, If you can go tricking that damn good, you get a pass. You get one (laughs) hard R. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> Come on, man. That's some good damn fried this chicken. Is my thing. Really this is, is my good. thing, too. Remember when, like, it, it still goes on that people uh, bring up how Chick-fil-A just, you know, like, they're 
their core value system is not respectable to like LGBTQ rights. Right. And I'm like, I get that. And you can't, I can't argue against that. But I mean, I don't take my social cues from chicken restaurants because I'm pretty sure Colonel Sanders would shoot me if I used the same <laughs> water fountain as him. But I love his damn chicken. Okay? Yo, but no, but that's not a that's Bro. not a Papa John's guy got fired. Yo, and, you in know the what? meeting, he was like, "Yo, Colonel Sanders said the n word, but yeah. Papa John didn't say the n word. He said the Colonel Sanders n yeah. word." Hey, Pedro, Pedro yeah. had the best joke about that. Pedro Lima said, "If you're offended." Because the guy who made your pizza said a racial slur, then you've never bought pizza in Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think our I think our buddy Jeff Jones, you know, Jeff Jones, uh, great Central Florida comic, also happens to be yeah. gay. When I first met him, he was running all the shows at the Parliament House. Great guy, a uh, great advocate for you know the community and everything else. But he's told me before, he's like, I love men. But I also love Chick Fil A. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, I'm with it. I, I love. I love. I love Paula D. Man, I, I yeah. love her recipe, man. But only you know everybody yeah. that's gonna hear this, and y'all know because I made that fried chicken like months ago using her recipe. My wife didn't know. Who the recipe was? She said, "This is so good." I was like, "It's Paula Dean," and I ran out the room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so she was going, you know, go Bro, Papa John's is my favorite was- pizza. I can't even eat Papa John's in this house. <laughs> Yo, Ken, when you made that chicken for John, there was a march. Black Lives Matter. Through your room. <laughs> <laughs> Vince Taylor was there. Like, <laughs> sure. it's can good. we? I- can we all agree we're going to eat it, but we'll give a little side eye while we're doing it? Yeah, we, you know, yeah, like I'll be, I'll be right. at Chick Fil A judging you, but I'm going to yeah. eat my chick. Yeah, but I'm that's telling how you, it was with the Apprentice. It's, it's good. That's yeah, how it was with right? the Apprentice. I'm like, yo, the Apprentice is on. I love this dude. And then I'm like, but he shouldn't have the nuclear codes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or access to his daughter's room. Yeah. 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 Good. Hey, somebody said right now with, with uh, they're like uh, replacing Donald Trump with Joe Biden is like crapping in your pants and then changing your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a great analogy. It is. Yeah. Yo. Yo. <laughs> that is oh. amazing. Now, real quick before we go, everybody have a good Fourth of July. Everybody thought it was good. Ken, yeah, I know yeah. You, uh, I'm still you cooking up right 10 now. O'clock. <laughs> Just Ken. <laughs> Why man. did you start smoking ribs at four in the afternoon? Is my Cause freedom? Because oh, freedom, man. James. Because freedom, hey, bro. I, dude, with I, no I, mask on. Yeah, dude. No, why did I? Did, I, I went grocery shopping to get some stuff, and I got yeah. home, and I was like, and and I did chicken and ribs, so I, I had to cook yeah. the chicken first, then the ribs, and I don't know, James. I'm just making up lies. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to do it. I don't know why I started so late, bro. But it, you bro. know, it is. But it was good. It was great. Dwayne just left here to come pick up a plate, so uh, you know, I got to <laughs> feed Dwayne because you know, Justin you know is on his way. No, Keith's yeah. not coming. You just have yeah. to give him a plate. And he'll take it back. <laughs> poor, Bro. poor Dwayne, man. They make him the fo- they make him the face of Universal, then shut it down. <laughs> <laughs> I believe there's a correlation. <laughs> Me too. Me too. Yo. Oh my god, Yo. that's ridiculous. Well, Ken, oh, I got something dude. for you next segment, brother. I'm gonna actually break down how to have a successful cookout and not do it the wrong way. So I got you, bro. You need a little help. Thanks. It starts by not starting smoking the ribs at four. <laughs> four. <Yeah. laughs> Yo, Paula, Paula D was over here. We were chilling. Kid, chill out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but guys, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more Real Laughs on 104.1. Welcome back, everybody. You are still listening to Real Laughs on 104.1. This is James John, your host, reminding you, you can always listen to our past episodes on the iHeart app, iTunes, and Spotify. And please follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and now YouTube. That's right. You can watch us. So please like, subscribe, and comment. I'm joined today. We got Mike Hurley in the house. We got Ken Miller and my partner in crime, Miguel Colon Jr. Now, Ken, I want to talk to you, man. I saw that you was having some issues on the 4th of July, bro. You was cooking for everybody, doing the right thing, but I guess you started a little bit late. You started your ribs at 4, so everybody ate it around midnight, right? That's how it went down? It was just me eating. (laughs) <laughs> so it didn't matter <laughs> oh just you it was just it was me you. yeah <laughs> yeah man wifey went, was wifey went to bed huh? oh my kids are back home my kids are back home I just yeah. see you so alone you- at a picnic table like I never need no one 
Sir, so I was outside, Miguel, living my best life, bro. I think I smoked six cigars last night, and I think I drank. I think I drank a half bottle of Crown, and and I ate ribs, and I had, and I was listening to gangster hip hop, and, mm-hmm. and just fireworks popping off. So I could turn it up as loud so I can have it up so as loud as I want. You're outside at 10 o'clock smoking ribs while your neighbors are launching stuff. You got a fly swatter. You're trying to keep bottle rockets away from your meat, right? Yeah. Man, it was like Afghanistan in my neighborhood last night. Yeah. Like, I, don't have, I don't have dogs, but I got two kids, and they were under the covers. I know because I was there first. I was there. Yeah. And I, I read this out. Did you guys hear all the theories of why there were so many fireworks going off this year compared to other years, like early and stuff? There's no, so right. many conspiracy theories out there. Some of it went from... Oh, this is people who support the police doing extra this year to make you realize who you're going to call when you have stuff like this. If you defund the police, there's another conspiracy theory that the government was doing it to get you ready for when they start busting in your doors and stuff. Again, use the flashbacks. (laughs) And then this is actually true. Governor DeSantis made it temporarily legal for certain people to light off professional grade fireworks this year. Because I guess so many shows were canceled there. Everybody, everybody was getting their are you hands. you certain people? Are we talking white people? Or? Well, we're just talking about um, certain neighborhoods that, you know, in different counties, fireworks are illegal, period. Like, you're not allowed to be setting them off or doing them. Well, I guess so many companies uh-huh. didn't get to sell for the big shows yeah. that they made it legal for regular consumers to purchase some of these high-quality things. So some of the neighbors have access to the stuff that oh, was meant okay. for, like, Disney fireworks, mortar yep. shells, True. and they were they were setting them off, man. Bro, like, it was uh, one last night, Mike. Mike, so what else loud, are they going to do? I with- text Danny Davenport because Danny Davenport was texting me because he was popping off fireworks. He invited me over, and I'm like, ah, I'm gonna just stay home. It was so loud, like for real. I got a purple heart today <laughs> just in the mail because because <laughs> I know I got hit by a shell. I had to get hit. <laughs> it was, that is funny. Boom, 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 and it was just back and forth, back and forth. But by that time, I was so drunk, I was just. <laughs> <laughs> we uh being back smoking. We bought uh we bought like almost close to a thousand dollars worth of fireworks. Uh, Mike Busey did for his part for his like barbecue, and uh we you know we put on social media. We we're like, hey, does anybody have a good deal on fireworks? Because we want to spend a good amount of money, but we also we want to make sure we're not. I, you know, I don't. A lot of the guys there know more about like pyro than me because they've done it for concerts and festivals. I'm the guy who comes back with like a box full of bottle rockets. Like, did I do good? You know, like, I don't know. <laughs> you know I always mess with the things you grow on the ground. Yeah, I like the you know, they gave us they gave us ten thousand snakes and tanks. We're gonna have a great time. <laughs> but uh, the guy, the guy who hooked us up with fireworks, uh, I said, hey man. Um, do you want me to plug you at all and, you know, go on the social media and say, hey, hit this guy up, blah, blah, blah. He's like, buddy, I don't want you to tell a damn person what I gave you. (laughs) And and then he he walked me through so many fireworks that he's like, this one here, okay, when y'all like this one here, man, he's like, you got to make sure it's in a PVC pipe or something metal because it'll blow anything else up. And then he gave me this. He gave me the most racist pack of fireworks I ever got, too. He's like, here's some stuff just for you, buddy. He gave me one. It's a dude in a turban, and it it says (laughs) turban bombs, and it's just a dude in a turban. But in the corner... It's like a special ops team running up on him. And I'm like, how is your how is your mascot getting shot by a JSOC team? And, and when, like, he, when you light it off, it's just a white flag of surrender. <laughs> no, when, you it, wow. when you light it off, it's, like, it's a bank transfer to Saudi Arabia. You know? <laughs> but yeah, I looked at the pack and I was like, no, this is like, you, you have those moments where you know somebody's probably a little racist and they like you. And yeah. they like, don't realize. <laughs> He's like, uh, you're going to love yeah. these. And I'm just looking hey, at these. Miguel, like, <laughs> every time somebody tells me you're one of the good ones. Yep. Yeah. 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 I got a pack of fireworks that just, I don't even, I just look at them and I'm like, no, I got to, I got to donate to a mosque because I don't even feel yeah. right having this. <laughs> Isn't that ironic though? Isn't that ironic, James? Whenever a white guy tells you you're one of the good ones, that clearly makes him one of the bad ones. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> When they tell me you're very well spoken, I'm like, ah, damn, here we go. But if, a, yeah. but, if, but if a black dude tells you you're cool, it's one of those mm-hmm. moments you're like, I'm not gonna freak out, I'm not gonna freak mm-hmm. out. But I gotta I gotta get on Facebook. Oh Jamal James, 
James, Tell him I'm down. The next time someone says you're one of the good ones or you sound so well spoken, I want you to start giving them the first five minutes of the movie Ray as your family background. <laughs> like why you became who you were. You're like, well, my mama was raising me and my brother. And we always That's focused right. on education. And one day I turned my took my head off him while he was playing by the wash tub and <laughs> <laughs> you should, James. Next time somebody tells you something, like you're so well tub, spoken, bro. just be like, "Well, yeah, I didn't grow up where you did. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I am better than you." <laughs> yeah. Yo, but it, yo, Mike. I'm not even gonna quote Ray. I'm just gonna start singing songs mm-hmm. from it. Like, <laughs> don't you hear me, Marty? <laughs> when I'm in need, and but, then go blind during the song only. <laughs> <laughs> Miguel, the guy that uh, the guy that you sold you your fireworks reminds me a lot of my great uncle, my grandfather's brother. Uh, my grandfather was a cop in Connecticut for like thirty five years. Uh, my his brother was the exact opposite. He was running numbers. He was a part owner of a nightclub, but not on paper. That type of thing. Yeah. And uh, I asked him. He he still he was born on my birthday, and I always loved him, Uncle Junior. And I wanted to be so much like him. Uh, and I asked him come down to my uh, high school graduation. And he's like, ah, oh, Mike, you know, I'd love to be there. I don't think I can make it. You know, that's that's the busy time of year for me right there around, you know, going into summer. Because that what they would do is they would drive down to the Carolinas, buy a ton of fireworks and just drive up to Connecticut and be selling, selling out the there. back of the club. Yeah. And he's like, he's like, I make half my money during, you know, that yeah, leading yeah, up to July 4th. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, okay, Uncle Junior. Yeah. But that's true. You know, like uh, there used to be a lot of that with like Indian cigarettes too, where people would go to the Indian reservations, pick up all the cigarettes they could, and then Mm -hmm. load them in a U Haul with furniture and stuff so that people wouldn't check and then sell them out the back of their bodega and stuff. See, and and that's the thing. Like, (laughs) when when people think of like La Costa Nostra or the mafia stuff, they think like Godfather level stuff. But growing up with that in your family, you realize that most of the time those guys were broke. It was always one hustle to another yeah, hustle. Because you got to kick up hustle. every week. Yep. Yep. You got to kick uh, the, And the, the more you make, the more you got to kick up. I always tell people if you good, pay me. Goodfellas is the most realistic movie I've ever seen because you see these guys, they have a lot of money one day and then they're broke the next day. Yeah. And that was exactly what my great uncle was. It was day to day just trying to get by, you know? Yeah, my grandfather uh, ran numbers and was a loan shark. And he used to have behind in, in, in the, we had a closet in the mm-hmm. kitchen, there was a cupboard. And that's what you use as the phone booth. You take mm-hmm. the phone cord in there, you'd close the cupboard and you'd sit on the stool. And that's where you would talk, you know, so you'd yeah. be away from everybody because there was only one phone in the, in the house. And he used yeah. to have he used to have like a whiteboard where where they would write down the stuff that they needed to buy that week, like food and stuff. And mm-hmm. then behind that whiteboard was my grandfather's whiteboard where he would write down like any of the book numbers and things like that. And mm-hmm. one day I'm like five years old. I just take the thing down, erase everything, and I'm drawing like a picture oh. for my grandfather. <laughs> oh. and, and they they never saw him again after yeah. that week. He was gone. <laughs> I hope every single person <laughs> lost their bet that week for real. Because oh. he sure as hell told them they did. You know? Yeah. <laughs> my pop pop's gone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> my my great uncle though, he uh he made it into a book about John Gotti called Squeal. And it was oh, all cool. about Sammy the Bull and John Gotti. Yeah. But one line in there was and then we went into Connecticut, went into Hartford, and we played uh we played dice in the back of Vinny Farino's club for a couple of hours. He highlighted that line and sent us all copies for Christmas. Because huh? that was that Damn. was that was him making it. You know, yeah. he was like, look, I look. made it. I made it, look. Ma. <laughs> look, Ma, top of the world. Top of the yeah. world. When I lived in Charleston, it was all video uh, video poker machines. And they used to have video uh-huh. poker machines everywhere. And then this is also the early 90s. Tattoo parlors were illegal. Video poker was legal. Fireworks were legal. And also bottles uh, of alcohol had to be sold in mini bottles. And abortions so it, were mandatory. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it was prime for like organized crime, which is funny because when you tell people you can gamble, you can buy fireworks, but you can't buy but a mini bottle worth of alcohol at a liquor store or a bar. And then you can't, uh, or, and then, you know, with, 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 I think the cigarettes were dirt cheaper too. So it was full of guys coming from New York, New Jersey, Philly, coming down there to run their, run the, run the machines, pick up, switch up <laughs> liquor bottles, run tattoo parlors, and then buy cheap cigarettes. And it's so funny because this place is so conservative and it built itself a hub of organized crime by regulating the stupidest things you could regulate. God, that's crazy, man. Somebody yeah, James, go buy it, We took over your whole segment, bro. <laughs> it's a, let's work for me, baby. Yeah. <laughs> in, one, hey. in one minute, Ken, ribs, why? Go. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
That's funny. I am going to say this real quick, though. Here's a tip I got for people, because actually, every year y'all know I do a huge, um, you know, cookout. When I mean, I, we've heard. Holiday, we've yeah, heard. But you've been there. Seen. Stop it. You've been there. Stop it. And people actually hit me up like, James, man, like you always throw something like that. Tell me a little bit about it because mine don't go so well. And I just got a quick tip for people out there like Ken, man, honestly. First thing is, Ken, can I give some advice? If somebody's coming over your house, get your house in order. Have you ever been to somebody's bathroom and you go to use it? You decide, you know what? I'm just going to pee on myself. It's a lot. Of <laughs> people have ne- <laughs> really? people have nasty yeah. bathrooms when yeah. you go there, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's my first thing. And Okay, here's my second tip. Have a drama-free guest list. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Don't invite so-and-so that's going through a divorce. Don't invite professional Don't invite side chicks, Jolly. meaning somebody's going <laughs> <laughs> to... Don't invite... invite I don't invite David house. Jolly to comedy shows that he's at. <laughs> 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 I'm like, you wait outside. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Oh, man. You, you guys with uh, friends have a tough life. I'm so glad I'm not like you. <laughs> <laughs> and always have some for people to eat when they show up. If you say to people, hey, barbecue started two o'clock. If you get there at two o'clock and you ain't cooked no meat yet, at least have some appetizers, some chips, some cheese, something for people to eat. Because blunt, I would tell you, know, you to get you ready. A, a blunt. Yeah. If you invite <laughs> black folks to your house and they get yeah. hungry, black folks will be ugly. I'm just telling you right now. I'm one of those people. I will tear that up because I'm mad and I'm hungry. I need something to eat. I get angry people. So that's Man, my little tip. You, you almost cuss. Mm-hmm. I did. I did. <laughs> yo, Mike, oh, you see that oh. 29 minutes, yo? <laughs> oh. Here's another tip. If somebody asks you what can they bring to the party, you tell them paper plates, Karen. Don't try to bring any size with you because you ain't going to make them right. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I've come to the point where when I, if you're coming to my house to eat, just bring liquor. Yes, just bring that's a bottle. My just yes. bring a bottle because yes. I'm going to cook everything. You know, when I had the the fish fry and the um the chicken and waffles Ooh, meal, right. I cook I cooked everything. Um, when um people come over for football games, I cook everything. When you come over for the cookout, I cook everything. Just bring a bottle. You ain't got to bring. Yeah. That's easy. I like none. that system because yeah. that's, that's that, thirty bucks at the store and no. But look pressure. here, though, yeah. Miguel. Don't take okay. your damn bottle well, home. <laughs> no, yeah, that's the worst. <laughs> we don't finish it. You better leave that damn bottle there. That's my bottle from now. Oh, it is hey, mine. Hey, Ken, my last tip for a good cookout: play the right music. Know your audience is coming to your yeah, house. Man. Don't play the wrong thing because people you already know it's gonna get played in my house. They numbers in nineties up in my crib, bro. Why we listen hey, to man. Joe to see while we eating ribs at midnight? <laughs> <laughs> Ken barbecuing. <laughs> Yo, you turn around me and sl- me and James slow dragging. Like, why y'all got- <laughs> what is going on at this barbecue? <laughs> yeah. Hey, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more Real Laughs on 104.1. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for still hanging with us on Real Laughs on 104.1. I'm still your host, Mr. James Yan. I am joined with Mike Hurley, Ken Miller, and Miguel Cologne Jr., man. Now, I want to talk to you guys about something that's a little interesting, man. You know, uh, America right now is going through a lot of change because what's going on out there. With the removal of such names like Aunt Jemima from the store shelves, it would seem that corporate America, uh, like a lot of folks, is starting to, you know, get rid of offensive names and imagery. That's a little bit, you know, needs to, it's, it's time for it to be done away with. But what I found funny this week was a story about sports. Ken, you probably follow this. The Washington Redskins. Right. It's an offensive name. We all know that it's been around for years. You would think this would be a no brainer. They're just going to get rid of the name. No questions asked. But no, the owner, uh, Dan Snyder, says they're going to have a committee meeting and they're going to discuss whether or not the name should be changed. Um, He said we're going to review it and we're going to talk and see if it's right. Uh, Actually, his exact phrasing was like, we're going to get together, have a little powwow. (laughs) (laughs) and then uh see if we can see if we can wrap this up maybe smoke a peace pipe together and uh, go our separate ways we brought in some experts uh cultural experts to help us work with this hello my name is joseph running is that whiskey (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> Here's what we do. We're all going to go into a hut. We're going to start a fire. We're going to take some acid. See what comes up. <laughs> yeah. We're now going to be called the Washington's Nyamums. That's, uh, right. that's the noise yeah. I made when I was tripping. Mm -hmm. uh, that's just funny to me because they're like, look, we're going to have a meeting. How long does that meeting take for somebody to be like, hey, man, that name is racist. Like, well, we shouldn't do that. I, I I kind of feel like this particular debate has been going around. This isn't, I'm not even a sports fan. No, it's been I around. feel like this has been coming yeah. up year yeah, after yeah, year yeah. for oh, a decade. Boy, a yeah. lot of teams, not just the Red. I think the Redskins are the most popular one because they're probably the most popular team. But when I saw yeah. this, James, I had to look into it because a lot of times people don't want to change their name because of the cost of rebranding. Yeah. And right yeah. now they're saying that it will cost the Redskins about 15 to 20 million dollars to rebrand. And they also, I guess they pay like 205 million. Some company paid 205 million dollars for the, the naming rights for the Redskins mm -hmm. stadium. So they right. it, it's stuff behind it that they don't want to do. But but as a business person, you have to think about this. If you rebrand at 15 million dollars and change your name. All your fans got to go out and buy brand new All stuff. new merch. Yeah. yeah. Come on, All why you think Kobe merch. went to a different jersey, bro? Kobe yeah. knew that. Yeah. Kobe's not mm. trying to get two yeah. jersey money. Yeah. Because you know? yeah. <laughs> now, you know I mean? now your jersey becomes the throwback. Yeah. And you you got to so, get updated. Yeah. Here's that racist Mitchell and Ness jersey I got. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so I think a lot of people make a big deal about it, about, you know, rebranding when it comes to change and stuff. You know, it was a, a thing earlier this year when Kobe passed that they wanted to change the logo to Kobe. But everybody like, oh, you got to rebrand and rechange, you know. So I think yeah. a lot of it is with them. I, I, I wouldn't say that it's more racist than anything. I think there's more money having to rebrand that team. Yeah. But Ken, I'm glad you brought that up because now they're about to lose money if they don't because uh, FedEx is on their stadium and FedEx says we yeah. would like you to politely change that. And Nike said they will no longer be putting uh, making any watching the Redskin. Um, Nike's got 12 year olds in Malaysia making yeah. shoes and they're talking about <laughs> social change. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, Fed, Whoa, FedEx, Miguel. FedEx, that's the, the article. I just FedEx paid $200 million for the naming rights yeah. to that stadium. Yeah. And they said, we want you to change it. And see, Go ahead if, and Ni do that. if Nike if Nike removes themselves from football and sports, then all they got left behind their shoes are those cult people who drink stuff to try to catch that spaceship flying overhead <laughs> once every 75 <laughs> years. <laughs> Nike, just, uh, Nike just needs to come straight out and release the Nike Dope Boy. Yeah. Like, you know, oh, this is oh, yo, Air this Force Ones all day. Yo, Nike yeah. Jamal Washington. Nike yeah. Pedro Cortez, you know. <laughs> yo, I got the I got the Jamal Twelves, bro. Yo, I got the slim uh -huh. from the West Sides. <laughs> yo, the, the Jamal Twelves are high top, and it come with the ankle bracelet already. Yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! The Nike Diego Cortezes, they come all white, and then they come with a pair of Dickies with a fresh crease. <laughs> Uh, by the way, um, for the people out there listening, my nephew Jamal just got out of jail, so I'm allowed to use that joke because it's true. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. But yeah. if one of y'all try to use that against Ken, that's racist. Oh, it's racist. It's hundred yeah. percent racist. <laughs> so racist. I can't wait to get the new Nuck Nuck Pookies. Those are gonna be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> They should name I, the Nikes. They should I'm name the Nikes after the kids who build them. This is this is my this is my Ken Young twelve. There's been twelve of them. No, he was twelve when he made them and died. You know? <laughs> See, this is well, when we were talking about some episodes. I just feel so left out. Like I'm a socks and Crocs guy, so I'm lost in this conversation. <laughs> wow. Uh, another I feel like my, another I feel like team my, changed their name in DC. You know the, the bullets, the, 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 bullets the, and the wizards, the, yeah. Wizards just be, and then they had so much crime in DC. Like DC was like, <laughs> how you gonna be the number capital. one murder capital of, of people? Your and you're like, watch the bullets. bullets. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, so, but then that you got is other truly embracing the your community, Indian. though. Yeah, this is the San Quentin Stabbies. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> yeah, you got a yeah. few other teams though. The Cleveland Indians, you know, they will have to change their name. It's 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 a few about teams the out there. Chiefs, right? Kansas City Chiefs. Kansas City Chiefs, yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, the but Braves. I, it, the Braves, yeah. So it's a lot of teams out there that if if it, but for some reason, the Redskins. It's like a racial slur. It's a racial slur. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. I think Chief, and I think Chief. Indian I know Chief, Chief has been like a racial slur because my father used to even tell me in the military, if you were Indian, uh, you you were Chief, like you know, in boot camp and everything. Like so, I know, like I think the Redskin, all of us just agree that's like a mean ass. It is. Slur, it you is. Know? Yeah, bro. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 
But they're going to do it now because, you know, everybody's trying to jump on the bandwagon. Yeah. We care about all races and brown and red people. No, so yeah, no, no team would that. take a name like that except for Boston. They'd be like, yeah, call us the Boston White Skins. We want that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're, 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 we're good with the Boston White Skins or the New England Round Eyes, whichever you like to do. <laughs> how, about, how about you call us the New England Homeowners? Just saying. <laughs> you know? <laughs> how about... <laughs> How about you call us the freckles? Other things they can't have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what I said. What I said. Vinny, what I said. Yeah. I said. Vinny, what I said. Every, everybody was thinking it. Everybody, I'm not saying we can't do business with them. I just don't want to marry my sister. Uh, all right. <laughs> now, Mike, <laughs> now, Mike, as a white guy, here's something you can definitely jump on. You know what? Uh, you, you know what? I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm done being the white guy on the show. From now on, Ken Miller will field all white Caucasian questions. And right. his other Got voice it. has Timothy. Timothy yeah, Miller. Go. <laughs> Let's go. Ken, Ken, yeah. Ken yeah, why bad. do you guys put raisins in the potato salad? Hey, look here. Raisins. Uh, so you <laughs> potato salad, no, look here. Hey, hey, look, listen to me now. A lot of potato salad does not have B12. And raisins have B12. He's niacin. not wrong. It's you science. Need, you need you need your niacin. You need your roboflavin. Uh, so yeah. Yeah. Raisins and everything. Yeah. I love raisins. Thank you, Timothy. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, are the California raisins racist? Let me ask you truthfully. Cause I still rock uh, out to when no. I see them. Hold on, hold like, on. Oh, no. Which which character you want? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Timothy, uh, are the California raisins raisins? Uh, let, I mean, for me, no way. They were doing the Temptations. <laughs> Who doesn't love the Temps? I mean, come on. Four raisins. I mean, technically they're prunes, but hey, you know, my golly. Yes. Prudes, that's their word. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> whoa. Can't, can't say it with a hard R like that. You know what I'm Yo, son. Yo, son. That, yo, they sold five. This how this how crazy music was at the time. The California yeah. raisins went gold. They Can sold five hundred thousand albums. Can dude. I got their Christmas album in like eighty seven? <laughs> what the, the best <laughs> the best thing to come from the California raisins is celebrity death match. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. That, yes. <laughs> Bring that back and just have the real celebs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Or like, like if you haven't like been popular in like five years, it's when we start throwing you in the ring, kind of like running man type stuff. <laughs> or get, get, get screech on <laughs> the phone. <laughs> or, or I think Kardashian should be like Highlander. There can only be one. They have to have a three-way. <laughs> <laughs> they yeah. have to have a three-way death match. <laughs> the one with the biggest butt wins. That's how oh, you know. Oh my goodness, yeah. bro. Chloe Kardashian, she sold her soul, man. Because she Chloe don't look Kardashian, the same. Uh-uh, man. Like somebody said, I hope she doesn't have facial recognition on her phone because she'll never get <laughs> <laughs> you know? bro, bro. Yo, I feel that way about Lil' Kim. I always oh, thought yeah. Lil' Kim was adorable. And yeah. then she went out and did somebody said when she get to heaven, Biggie ain't gonna recognize her. <laughs> 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 well, that was that was like, the girl. Uh, what was her name? Renee Zellweger from uh, yeah. Jerry Maguire. She looked. Yeah, she was yeah. so cute, and then she went she and got her nose done, and now yeah. I don't even. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. You, wonder, you yeah. wonder. You wonder what was in their head the whole time. What kind of like negative feelings about themselves were in their head the whole time that they're like, I got to get my nose fixed, and the rest of us are watching like Jerry Maguire. Like this girl is adorable. Well, yeah, you know? yeah. That one chick from Ferris Bueller and uh, Dirty Dancing. Dirty uh, Dancing. Jenna or Gray. Jeff Jennifer Gray. Yeah. Jennifer Gray. She yeah. had like that. She had a bigger nose and got yeah. done and like haven't seen her since. She stopped. Yeah. Actually, they couldn't cast her after she after after she got her nose done because she was so known for having that nose piece that after she got it done, her agents had to drop her. How do you she feel? Find out it, it was never your it was never your acting. It was always the nose. Mm -hmm. once, nose once she got her nose know. changed, her agent Maury Goldstein was like, "We don't need you in Hollywood anymore, kid." You know? Yeah. <laughs> Grab a brisket on your way out. Yeah, there you was go. gonna do the whole Catskill belt, and now, oh, this is killing me. <laughs> not, not and oh, real quick, Ken, your boy, uh, your boy is running for president. Man, Kanye. I, bro, I just, I just bro. tweeted, I tweeted about that, bro. I wouldn't vote for Kanye to be my HOA president. Look, <laughs> <laughs> I would, I wouldn't vote Kanye to be class president. Uh, <laughs> no. This is, Yo. this is why this is dangerous, though. Okay, three months ago he's chilling out with Trump. Now he comes out and says, "Oh no, that was all a big scam. I wasn't really on him." This is all just yep. a hoax for him to grab some of the vote from Biden. 
to get some of the vote from Biden so Trump has a chance. Because right now, Trump ain't looking good for a lot of minorities. But there's a lot of minorities that are going to go like, um, let's give Kanye I'm a gonna chance. I'm going to say, Mike, I'm going to say this. Anyone who votes for Kanye wasn't going to vote. They're just voting for Kanye. Now. <laughs> <You know? laughs> they weren't going to vote for anybody. Now they're just like, uh, I don't know, yeah. man. Uh, I now, don't Mr. Mr. Haddish, Haddish is running uh, for now. Tish, Tiffany Haddish yeah. tweeted that her and Dave Chappelle are running for president, vice president. So now Lord now the presidency mercy. is a joke. It's it's It's, it's, it's been a joke. A joke. Yeah, it's yeah, a yeah, joke. Yeah. It's, yeah. Mr. West, why are you running for president? Because I'm dope and I do dope things. That's yeah. why. I just, I God. constantly say this, Kanye, put back on the bear suit and stop acting weird. Yeah. You Amen. Know? Like, hey, man. You know? at, least, at least if he won the inauguration, it'd be lit. Let's be honest. Oh, yeah, me and my sister were talking about that. Fire. Oh, that party my God. Was seven fire. days yeah. long. Didn't yeah, Elon, be, Musk it, why, al Elon Musk already came out supporting him? Yeah. Which, yeah, yeah. that's crazy because I like Elon. Yep. I like Elon. I Elon mean, just likes I headlines. Like, I like him as vice president. I think he put a car in space. He should put Kanye's ass in space. It'd be amazing. And you leave him there. <laughs> you can be president now, of the moon. You yeah. can. He'd be like, "Yo, I'm the first president of the moon." Eh. Yeah. I don't even you think go. they. I don't even think they let Kanye be the president of his label. Like the. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, thank you for tuning in tonight. We'll see you guys oh. tomorrow. Real oh. ass out.